It's been almost exactly 48 years since the first Volkswagen Golf GTI model debuted in Germany, and now five decades later we're getting the first revolutionary all-electric performance hatchback from the German brand. The new VW ID GTI concept car is a bigger interpretation of many of the details found on the previous and popular ID2 all-electric concept compact hatchback, which seem clear to have no destiny in the US we will have to wait and see if VW's plans for this new GTI include us across the pond, but here's everything we know about the new EV hot hatch so far. Currently, for the US, VW has the ID4 EV SUV, the ID Buzz EV van, and the ID7 EV sedan confirmed for the market. Those are all based on the MEB platform, and the ID2 All was also based on a shortened version of the same. VW has already confirmed the new ID GTI concept is based on the same platform with front-wheel drive and will get a production version eventually, though it hasn't confirmed when or where. The I in GTI no longer stands for injection but instead now intelligence, in reference to the onboard vehicle dynamics manager computer. The ID GTI will also get an electronically controlled front axle differential lock cop from the current generation Golf. The VDM apparently allows for various different driving impressions based on Golf and GTI models of the past, a quote from the release, for the first time, it is possible to adjust the drive system, running gear, steering, sound, and even the simulated shift points in the style of one of the historic GTI models, such as the original 1976 Golf GTI, the first 16-valve Golf GTI Mark II from 1986 or the 2001 Golf GTI Mark IV 25 years of GTI. The release calls the concept car an effective time machine, which admittedly sounds pretty cool, if somewhat artificial. The ID GTI concept is only slightly larger than the ID2 all it's based on. It's 161.6 inches long with a 102.4 inch wheelbase, 59 inches tall, and 72.4 inches wide. It rides on 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels wearing 245 35 performance rubber. Previously, VW advertised the ID2 all as having all of the interior space of a Golf in a smaller overall package, thanks to the packaging efficiency of an all electric platform. The ID GTI concept gets the signature red nose line and badging of the GTI brand, as well as a front light bar that illuminates behind a lit up VW badge. Up front, there are also red toe points, a honeycomb style intake similar to the 5th gen GTI, and a black front splitter. The 8 double spoke polished black wheel design is meant to evoke the Pirelli rim from the Mark 1 Golf GTI and the Denver rim from the Golf GTI Mark 5, framed by matte black wheel arches. At the rear is a black roof spoiler, with black air guides at the sides of the rear window, with a super wide LED third brake light across the top. There's also some eye trickery with the blackened elements of the rear to remind you of the original GTI's black window surround and bumper. There are familiar elements to the interior of the ID GTI concept as well. Since it now gets a column shifter, the golf ball effect has been applied to the, the multifunction GTI experience control in the center console, which manages driving profiles. The digital cockpit and dashboard are highly configurable, including a vintage mode that replicated the instrumentation of a Mark II Golf GT. There's a new augmented reality head-up display that can project info for both the passenger and driver, which can also display the driving track you're currently on, like the German Nürburgring, and even display you live position in a race, presuming all other vehicles are connected in some way. It's not clear how this works yet. Thankfully, VW does mention the new 12.9-inch infotainment screen will get physical, illuminated controls for air conditioning and volume, which should be an improvement over current ID models. Of course, the interior adopts a reinterpreted GTI plaid pattern called Jack E, after the Jack E nomenclature used for the fabric in the Mark VI Golf GTI, covering new sports seats in the ID GTI concept. The packaging opportunities carry over from the ID2 All concept as well, including an additional stowage box under the luggage compartment, which is already 17.3 cubic feet of space, as well as more stowage with charging functionality under the rear bench seat, perfect for hiding a charging laptop in a parked vehicle, for example. With the three across rear seats folded down, open cargo space expands to 40.7 cubic feet. VW made no mention of range or exact power, but the ID2 all promised 280 miles of range and 233 horsepower from a single front-mounted e-motor. Again, there's no word on if this ever comes to the US and it may not be incredibly likely, considering it's very unlikely the ID2 all was planned for our market and this is based on that. But hey, we'd welcome a performance-minded electric hatchback. Hope you like our content and see you on our next video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications.